We are here at the NJDEP NACO Creek Research Station in Port Republic, New Jersey. And here behind me is about 50 tons of oyster and clamshell collected from local Atlantic City restaurants as a result of our Marine Fisheries Administration's shell recycling program. You may be thinking, why are we collecting shells? Oysters require a hard substrate to attach to and grow to build reefs. Not having the necessary substrate available for oyster larvae to settle on can stifle the sustainability of an oyster population. Oysters are a keystone species in our estuaries. Their structural reefs form the basis for a critical habitat for commercially and recreationally important fish and invertebrate species, including blue crab, striped bass, and summer flounder. Additionally, healthy oyster reefs can improve water quality by filtering significant volumes of water daily. Oyster and clamshells provide the much needed substrate for oyster larvae to settle on. Traditionally, when oysters and clams are served at a restaurant, the discarded shell is placed in the trash and headed directly to the landfill. Shell recycling is a practice that has been increasing in popularity nationally in which restaurants save discarded shells from their seafood dishes, thus making it available for oyster enhancement efforts. This helps keep waste out of landfills, saves restaurants money, and benefits local oyster populations. Our staff currently goes into Atlantic City on a weekly basis and collects shells that will be used to enhance oyster reefs in New Jersey's coastal waters. Currently, our staff collects shells from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Doc's Oyster House, and the Knife and Fork Inn. It's just, it's a, it's a great program. People love it because what they're eating they're actually putting stuff back. They're putting the shell back into the environment to complete that circle. If we weren't picking it up, it would go back into a landfill. We have an operator lift that makes the whole job so much easier. When we first started, we had three to four people going out. Now we can come out and do it with two people. We take these shells, we take them back to our shop. We let them season for about six months. It's, it's really cool to engage with the public. We've had multiple people come up and just talk to us on the street, like, what are you guys doing? And as soon as we explain to them what this whole process is, where things are gonna wind up, they just love it. When we arrive in the morning, we, uh, we assess how much shell is in each bin, and we record that with an accurate estimate to show the percentage pool of how much is actually in each container that we have, which we have a predetermined value of the volume which then we can record weekly so that we have accurate estimates of how much shell we are actually collecting. We can get an estimate for how much we are putting back into the environment. After the shell is picked up, it makes its way back here and undergoes a six-month curing process where the shell sits on land exposed to the elements prior to placing it back in the water. This is a critical step in the shell recycling process because it ensures the shell is clean, high quality substrate that is free of food waste and any naturally occurring pathogens that can be harmful to oysters, but not human consumers. We recently got our dump trailer decaled with our, our logos. So if you see us out on the road in Atlantic City, be sure to stop by to learn more about the shell recycling program. Our staff would be eager to talk to you about the program and all that's going on with it. After the six month curing period, we load up shell on our conveyor belt. That conveyor drops all of our shell on a barge right down at our dock at the Naco Creek Research Station. And the barge is then transported out in the months of June and July, typically over a few week period that is in unison with the oyster spawn. So this allows for the clean shell to be placed down at the same time that the oyster larvae is entering the system, which gives uh, an optimal growing condition for the, the young oysters to attach to the shell. Once we're out into the river uh, and getting close to on site, we have a series of high pressured water hoses, cannons, that actually blow off the shell directly into the water, saving on having to shovel or any kind of manual labor, but allows it to get it off in an efficient way that pushes it right over the location we're looking to plant. Through picking up shell from one of New Jersey's most popular destinations for tourists and locals alike, there's a unique opportunity to engage with consumers, 
and connect them to the local ecosystem and their role in environmental stewardship. This shell recycling program originated in 2019 in partnership with Stockton University, the Rutgers Cooperative Extension, and the Jetty Rock Foundation.